Welcome back to Everything Whiskey, I'm Kellen. And I'm Sam. And today we're reviewing the Pie Creek Double Barrel. Alrighty, so today, the Pike Creek. God, I keep pouring so much in my glass because I'm looking at the monitor while trying to pour. How much? How much to put in this time? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, You're not going to be any use to this episode, are you? <laughs> um, Alright, so Pike Creek, this is a Canadian whiskey. It's imported from, I believe, McCormick's, which is um, a... It's a distilling company based in Missouri, America. So, Canadian? I don't know. <laughs> they import it from Canada, uh, Ontario. And, I mean, it's it's a pretty basic Canadian, except I think it has some extra notes that give it some uh, additional points mm. in its favour uh, with it being port finished. So, um, I think port was a good choice for Canadian whiskey. Uh, it's already such a sweet thing, Canadian whiskey. It's very, uh, I don't want to say cliche, but it's uh, very mapley, maple syrup uh, yeah. sweetness. So the addition of kind of like a fruitiness and uh, even more sweetness from port finish is, at least it's in the right direction. You're not going to get a Canadian whiskey finished in Lug in Lagavulin or Laphroaig barrels. Like it would just be ridiculous. Maybe someone should try that but and prove me wrong, but I feel like that would probably not go well. I haven't really got that much to say about Pike Creek, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I mean, have we? when did you buy the bottle? I, this was a yeah, while ago. I reckon I bought it for close to two years ago, I think. Nearly two years, I'd say, as well. Um, I believe we got it from Liquorland or something yeah, like that. Yeah, the local I'm Liquorland. Sure, but I'm um, trying to do some additional research on it now. has been a struggle and a half. I cannot find it on sale anywhere. I'm not mm. sure what's going on. Uh... But this specific bottling, uh, I can only find it online uh, at Nick's Wine Merchant, sorry. Uh, and it's sold out there as well. So, I mean, it's given me some information, but it, you can't buy it. I, I don't know if, hmm. are, they still in, are they still selling it here? Maybe uh, it's not, I'm not sure. it's being sold here anymore. I, could, I but... could only find the 10 year old online. Um, yeah, so I tried to do I some research. I believe this. it did quite well. But maybe it was just a short run, this kind of double oak thing. I mean, it's a, it's a bloody nice whiskey. Um, it goes down very easily. <laughs> there's not much behind it, but um, I don't know why you can't find anything on it. Um, for, what I, for what I understand, I think it's pretty well-liked and um, well-perceived by the whiskey community. They didn't do anything yeah. outrageous with it. They just made... Um, Canadian whiskey even more drinkable if that's possible yeah no the, I, uh, I, I completely yeah. agree I think that it's the port is just kind of added some extra notes which is I feel like what Canadian whiskey needs like mm. it's so straight down the middle Canadian whiskey you get Crown Royal and stuff like that like it's just too simple I think the port while it's still maintaining that sweetness that uh, Canadian whiskey upholds, it also adds new notes, which really help it out. Like I get some deep, like sherry red wine notes out of this that I don't get with any other Canadian whiskeys. I think like the sweetness is much more full, much more rich. It's not just like sugar. It actually, it's like it comes from something. It's like maple syrup. Yeah. But I think yeah, it's it, very dark. I rich. get like, oh. I get some like corn notes. Like a super sweet bourbon. There's some more spices, but uh, I think stuff that's probably from memory uh, quite uh, often that it's present in other Canadian whiskeys. Uh, yeah. But maybe not. But I'm getting like some cinnamon, uh, kind of basically like again cliche, but like pancake kind of spices. Like you're getting <laughs> like cinnamon and stuff like that. You're yeah. getting maybe some nutmeg. Uh, just stuff that goes great with maple syrup and pancakes, I guess. I get, um, again, just constant sweetness, uh, a little bit of maple syrup, maybe nutmeg, cinnamon, some... Even a bit deep in molasses. Some, yeah, I was going to say some really sickly sweet fruits, yeah. uh, which I assume is the end of the port uh, finished mm. casks. So, um, yeah, some like deep sherry red wine, stuff like that. Yeah, those dark um, fruits. Dark fruits, plums. 
overly ripe prum, prums, plums, <laughs> uh, raisins. Yep. This is that yes. Cana- that classic Canadian note as well. Yeah. I'm just going for the taste. Yep. Oh, Ooh, it's so smooth. Um, <laughs> this is not a particular. This is not at all a challenging whiskey. Uh, I wouldn't even call it whiskey. That's not. Oh well, yeah, like it's uh, it's on the it's on the edge. You could drink this straight the entire it. night, and then it would all hit you at once. So I reckon. Yeah, uh, we didn't. Uh, we didn't mention, but it's forty percent. Yep. Um, so it's you know as low as they go, but it's still forty percent whiskey. So it's still a fair bit. This will creep up on you, as you just said, Kelly. I think that. It is so easy drinking that if after mm. um, halfway through the night, it'll probably all hit you at once because you won't realize it. But it's I reckon easy, this could be one of me. this could easily be one of the first whiskeys I would recommend to someone that was trying to get into to, whiskey. If they're trying to get into whiskey, yeah, the only thing I think that I get a little bit cautious with uh, now that I wasn't aware of before is that a lot of people, well, not a lot, but some people uh, have a real aversion to um the kind of sweetness that port gives uh apparently it's this kind of real funky uh sweetness that turns them off because it because it kind of like smells and tastes off like moldy fruit like i've never experienced it but i've heard a lot of people mention that they can't do like port finished uh uh space sides and stuff like scotch uh they can't do it because for some reason they just can't get over the port finished taste the flavor that's so odd uh, so that would be the only thing i'd be wary yeah. with is you know giving it to someone who's never tasted that kind of thing but if i said to someone you know hey do you if you haven't tried whiskey but have you ever tried port how do you find that and if they're relatively positive or you know in between then i think this is a great way to go i didn't even pick up that port finish until you were talking like yeah i just found I think, it smooth and when you said you get that moldy yeah. taste like it's, i've tried port and it's not offensive to me no. And I got that that dark, rich. It's so rich it's, that it's kind it's of like tastes off. It, yeah. It's really overly ripe fruit. Mm. Like it, that's exactly what it tastes like. Is overly ripe fruit. Uh, it is sickly. Yeah. Um, if I think the more you drink port, the probably probably the more you'll enjoy port finished whiskeys, just because you can kind of like identify which flavors are coming from what. Uh, and you know it's not like just this moldy flavor. You're like, ah, oh, it tastes like port, not uh, it tastes like moldy fruit. Like yeah. it's kind of like you ident you identify where it's coming from. Uh, but I totally get why people just don't vibe with it. Um, I've never had that experience, but I mean, we had an experience with bourbon from the start where we couldn't really get corn or barrel notes. We just kind of got over a banana overripe banana mm. and it took us like a, nearly two years to really get anywhere past that now we love bourbon thank you very much for watching this episode of everything whiskey uh i don't know if you'll be able to get your hands on any pike creek but if mm. you can uh the double barrel if you can buy it it's nice <laughs> there's not much <laughs> else to say it's a damn easy drinker um anyway thank you much for watching check out the links below to our socials slur city over here <laughs> after a couple big pause Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.